Hi, I'm Tamara Lackey, and on this part two episode of Redefine Show for Adorama TV, we dig into a nine month long project that Eric Valin just finished. He shares with us from start to finish everything that was involved, photography, video, stop motion, the works. Check it out. So you just wrapped up a pretty long-term project. Yeah. Well, tell me about that. So I was working with Etsy. They mm -hmm. just launched a website called I've Etsy. I've heard of them. You've heard of them? Yeah. I mean, you've probably bought all kinds of cool yeah, stuff on there. Yeah, I have, there. yeah. So um, I had a long-term contract creating an image library for them, and it was EtsyStudio.com, which just launched about a month or two ago. What's Etsy Studio? It's kind of like a closed loop. So you know how on Etsy you can buy craft supplies or yeah. buy crafted things? Like yeah. People make awesome stuff. I know. Like, neat wooden furniture and cool yeah. charm bracelets and stuff. We um, had incredible uh, wooden bench created for our space. Um, it's gorgeous and they did it exactly for the space specs and yeah. like that's amazing. So like where Amazon is an e-com platform for you know manufactured high volume product, Etsy puts you in touch with artisans. Right. So you can have someone in Oregon making you custom wooden benches. Yeah. 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 Um, Etsy Studio was basically like creating uh, projects. So you could go on there and you'd be like, okay, I need wedding invitations. Well, I can go to Etsy.com and I can buy them. Or right. I go to EtsyStudio.com and figure out these or see these tutorials with a million ways to make my own creative ah, wedding invitations. Okay. Oh, you can also click the link to purchase all the supplies necessary from oh, Etsy.com. So, so it's like a closed loop yeah. plus empowering creatives to go and make their own things right. and very conveniently selling them the tools to do it. Yeah. So, oh, that's brilliant. So what were you doing when you were shooting for them? Oh my God, everything. <laughs> yeah. So we shot a ton. So we did step-by-step -step projects. So I did a lot of overhead flat lay photography where it's, you know, hands kind of nicely styled hands yeah. and cool props walking you through the projects yeah. and lifestyle images of the final projects and products and things that are featured or available to sale on the website. And lifestyle, so, you mean like in action, utilizing? In action. Yeah. yeah. So like um, we would do beautiful interior shots or we would do um, kind of still lifes with human elements where hands or arms or people would be modeling or coming into the frame. Right. Um, and then we would also do like the lifestyle, like webitorial kind of stuff. So right. advertising meets kind of an editorial look. Yeah, so, yeah. So uh, nice, clean, beautiful interiors and that kind of stuff. And did you do video? Because you have good video. Yeah. So <laughs> He's actually helping us set up the <laughs> production crew over here. You yeah. have to wear a lot of hats, yeah. for sure. Um, so yeah, we did stop motion and we also did video and okay. hyperlapse. Stop motion, so. that's so fun. That is fun until you're like te doing it because it's literally one frame at a time. So <laughs> the result doing. is fun. Yeah. So I'm glad you lit up like that because that means all the work is worth it. Yeah. Like when you see stop motion, it's like, oh my God, this is a new way of seeing almost. Yeah. You know, it's like seeing life at a different frame rate. Yeah. Um, it's just really tedious to make because you could sit there all day and maybe only knock out five or 600 frames and you're like, okay, I just put in 10 hours in the studio and I have nine seconds oh, of video wow. or something, you know? So what are like stop motion movies? Like what goes into that? Okay, um, it's it's fun. You use still photography as, so I'll take a DSLR, like we're filming on here, yeah. and I will just kind of set it up. I do a remote capture, some tether tools, cables coming down, mm -hmm. and, and so I've got it on my laptop. And right. there's some specific software that's really good for stop motion. and. You set up a frame like you would a still picture, and you take the shot, and then you move it slightly, and you take it, a, and you move it slightly, and you take another, and you introduce another element, and how quickly or how much you move the items between each shot right. dictates how quickly they move or slowly they move in the final video. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so think like, about doing the robot very slowly in front yeah. of a camera yeah. for portrait work. Yeah. And do you make it like so it's as natural and smooth as possible, or do you kind of make some of those jumps? That's the fun of it. It can. There's magic to stop motion that we can't do in video without you know tons of CGI. Right. Because in stop motion, you can have a product move across a table and then something else appears there. Yeah, yeah. So you can have a lot of fun with it, and we definitely did. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's some where we did smooth animations where we had little patches that looked like bees and stuff flying around, and it was just kind of a cute oh, looping animation. Yeah. And other stuff, we basically showed you how to stitch together an entire sweatshirt and put a bunch of decals on it, iron it, and then pop. There's a miniature version for your kid. You can buy adult and small sizes. We really got to fl like flex so creativity on, yeah. on this stuff. On this because, creative site. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, you're, you're taking what could be very mundane product shots and right. how do you animate them? How do you give them character? How do you make them humorous? Right. How do you make people want to watch yeah, them? Yeah, draw them in. Yeah. So how long did all this take? Oh my God, eight or nine months. Yeah. It was the longest freelance project I've been on in my career. It was yeah. really neat because yeah. it felt almost like I was an employee. Right. With none of the downside. Like, hi, Fred. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's all the plus side of, you know, getting to work with your favorite creatives regularly, right. you know, that you don't get as a freelancer because you yeah. might work with a client once or twice a year usually. Yeah. Um, but with none of the downsides of, you know, twiddling your thumbs in an office. Right, right. Yeah. In a cubicle. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, wonderful. So how can people find out more about you, the work you do, things you're teaching? 
uh, ericvallon.com is yeah. the best way to go. And then social media wise, I'm most active on Instagram now. So okay. it's Eric V Photo, E R I K V Photo. All right. And then um, when are you teaching next? We're going to be at PPE, so yeah. we've got some classes there and a photo walk there. We're going to be at WPPI out in Vegas next year. Yeah. Uh, Imaging USA is going to be down in Nashville. And I'm always doing workshops around the country, especially in the New York area, too. So okay. check out my website. Um, there's an event section there, and you can see where I'm going to be, how to sign up, and how to come out and shoot. Fantastic. Thank you so much for cool. your time. Yeah, really thank appreciate you very much. it. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got to connect. I know. Thanks so much, Eric. I really appreciate all your grueling detail. Check us out here next time on Adorama TV. And in the meantime, you can hit that subscribe button for all kinds of tutorials and walkthroughs and videos and cool everything.